Hey everybody, welcome back to the uh, Modern Horizons 2 channel. We got another draft box. Let's see how we do. It's, uh, it's been a bit since I uh, you know, pulled any of the nicer retro frames. Hint, hint, wink, wink of what I like to see. So, okay, it's weird that that was in the bottom of the box sideways. Okay. All right. <clears throat> We all know the drill. Modern Horizons 2. Great set. Expensive boxes. Wallet fatigue happening. People can't crack these as fast as they generally would like to. Product is uh, slowing down movement on the market. And that's at the time of this recording. Misty freaking rainforest to start us off. Let me uh, work on the focus here. Seriously, to start us off, Misty Rainforest. Fantastic. But yeah, so at the time of this recording, so who knows exactly when this is going to be posted, but box prices are falling. They're not moving fast. Uh, collector boxes I see on eBay from one of the biggest sellers for like $320 each. Um, shipped, not, not including tax, but shipped. Break the ice. Squirrel mob and persist. Okay, solid rare. And thopter. Okay, I'm a little bit adjusted here with my camera this time. You have to pardon me. Still kind of playing with the settings a little bit. But yeah, that's kind of where the set, san uh, set stands. As far as soon we've got uh, adventures in the Forbidden Realm coming up. Should we, can we just refer to that as the Dungeons and Dragons? Cauldra complete for our first mythic. Okay, and a food token. So I feel like people are, at this moment, a combination between spending a lot of money on Modern Horizons 2, trying to put some money toward that, also knowing that uh, we're going to have a Innistrand set before the end of the year. Which, of course, I got pushed back. Larry Nevin's Disc, Master of Death, and a Foil Old Border Necrogoyf. Not the Foil Old Border I wanted to see, but those definitely don't come in every box, so beggars can't be choosers. Okay, so let's get through these. Patchwork Gnomes, Blood Braid Marauder, Hard Evidence. So yeah, if you were waiting to crack Modern Horizons 2, for personal usage anyway, the time is now. Well, probably, probably now. Maybe not at the time of the recording or posting. All right, let's, let's work on the focus here. Come on. Work with me. Extruder and Fractured Sanity. I know uh, I'm not planning on doing a ton of, hey, old bordered, prismatic. You know what? I'm going to work on something here for a second. Hold on. I'm, I'm not at all happy with. Is that better? Is that better? I think that's better. Okay, it's probably fine, but on my end, it's not. All right, prismatic ending old border, which is awesome. Enchantress's presence and obsidian charmaw. Anyway, so I'm not going to do a ton of adventures in the Forbidden Realm. Admittedly, I, I, I'm not loving the flavor. I'm not loving all the usage of the D20. Like, it, yeah, it completely ties into the set, and I get why they're doing it, but I just don't feel interested. So this Harvest Hand, okay. You know what? I know that's not a financial hit, but I am going to put it over there. Because I am happy to see it. Card's getting a lot of play. 
Hey, Dragon Rage's channeler. Dragon's Rage channeler, isn't it? Read the card. Okay. Chainer, Nightmare, Adept, though for the old border. Whoa, where's the saga? Very nice. Very, very nice. Didn't have one of those in my last box. So good to see it still exist. So, so far is a pretty decent start. Pretty decent. Not mind-blowing, but, you know. Gorilla Shaman, Ave. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. What else? We're going to get to another Mythic, Underworld Cookbook, Terramorph, Cursed Totem. And, yes, we got another Mythic, this time in the Old Border Treatment, Scion of Draco. Not going to get super pumped about that, but that is not bad. That is not bad at all. Okay, Thranbin Watcher. Ghostlit Drifter, Feast of Sanity, Cabal Freaking Coffers. Very nice. Very, very nice. I am surprised that, maybe I shouldn't be, but, but I am surprised that the prices, you know, that was one of the ones that kind of dropped. Suspend, solid card. That was, uh, if, if, you, if I had commented, which I don't know if I really did, on it pre-release, I would assume that that one would at least have held value. Not necessarily went up, but like its, it's pre-sale price didn't seem completely out of line. All things considered, but I was wrong. Solitary Confinement, the Slow Talisman. All right, let's get to the middle. Not too shabby at all for the, which I think that was one too many packs in that first one because that one that was stuck on the bottom, but... Whatever, who's counting? Blazing Root Walla, Dreams, Mog Salvage. Persist in the sketch, which is pretty neat. I would love to see a Fetchland heavy box, of course. It's been a long time since I've had one of those. Yeah, I had amazing early on luck with Fetchlands. Okay. And another prismatic ending. And another Dragon's Rage Channeler. Sanctum Weaver. Solid hit. Okay, so we got Barbed Spike. You know, at this point with that last pack, I okay, almost don't even care about the end comments. Okay, Karmic Guide. Necrogoyf, and oh man, that is disappointing. So we got a foil old border Ave. That could have been so many things. But we've gotten two foil old border rares in this box. Man, too bad those couldn't have been fetchies. This box would have been lit. Verdant Catacombs for Fetchy number two. Well, if you want to give me regular Fetchies, I won't complain. In solid uh, mythics like Cabal Coffers. Okay, so we've got more of the same. Sketch Lazatep Chancellor. Shooter again and out of time. All right, it's been a minute since our last Mythic. And I wonder if we'll see any Ristic Buddies. <laughs> okay. All right, Pack, I get it. You just you just want to fall apart. Yeah, Terramorph. Graceful Restoration. Thranbin Watcher. And Titania, Protector of Argoth. Well, we got another Mythic. U3. Okay, Javelin Lear, Liquid Metal Torque, Herd Belleth, 
Crayon Ranger. And Yavamaya. Very nice. Another nice rare hit. So is anybody tired of this set yet? Like, I mean, regardless of what I talked about earlier about wallet fatigue, which, which is quite real. Is anybody tired of this set? Is everybody just like, eh? Old news. Arid Mesa for our third fetchy. Excellent. That's good news. That is... That's the kind of thing we like to see here on the channel. We like to see fetch lands pulled. Any set they're in, doesn't matter. We're here for the fetchies. We are hunting them consistently all the time. Arcus Echoloi and Zern Orb. General Ferris Rockerick. This is uh, shaping up to be a pretty solid box. Seriously, seriously. If these two over here, at least one of them could have been a fetch land, this box would have been like a 20 out of 10. It's already pretty solid. Oh well. Oh well. Can't always have what you want. Abiding Grace. Ugh, wonder. Rise and shine. Okay. Still don't get why they put wonder up shifted to rare. There must have been something involving in play testing that made them do that. that would be my assumption. Radiant Epicure, Greed, Sylvan Anthem. Okay. All right. So now we're going to get to the last third of the box. Can we get one more? Can we get one more fetchy and have a four fetch land draft box, which would be pretty, pretty good. Old Bordered Brainstone, Mystic Redaction, Feast of Sanity, Goblin Bombardment, and Lanus, Cryptozoologist. I'm mean, going to have to say that Ave over there. That is a pretty looking card. Definitely not the rare old bordered foil you're looking for, but it does look good. All right, Merktide Regent. Very nice for our fifth mythic. Let's see if we can also get any uh, of the elementals. Or... Eh, maybe the best monkey will make an appearance, yeah? Maybe? Probably not, though. Probably not. Angelic Curator. Priest of Fell Rites. Okay. I would say likelihood of getting uh, Ragavan at this point is probably very slim. But, let's not rule it out, huh? Upheaval, Thought Monitor, okay. Whoa! Okay, okay, another Misty. For, this time foil. All right, all right, okay, I see. So, okay, you want to make it up to me for uh, for the two old borders over here? I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. Not too shabby. I know Thought Monitor is not like a big hit, but I'm putting it there because, well, I like it. <clears throat> Artifact Affinity is back. Ah, okay. So, four, four fetchies so far. we still got a few packs to go here. Profane Tutor. Okay. All right, so keep getting through these uncommons here. Riptide Laboratory, Rashad in Dock Hand in the Old Bordered Treatment. So what do we got left here? That's six packs. Six packs left. Should have at least one more Mythic to go. Maybe another Fetchy, yeah? Huh? Huh? I know I keep asking for it. But you hit four pretty quickly, all right? So that means possibility. Timeless Dragon, that's not what we're looking for. Of course, at this point, you know, there are several of the better rares we have not touched. 
So maybe we'll see some of those. That would be cool. I dig it. Arcbound Shikari, Better Bone, Arcbound Wilp, Counter Spell. Damn! All right, that's one of them. So we got four packs left. Oh, Aero Amoeba. Just can't not show up, huh? Tide Shaper, Sea Drake. Okay, the Archon of Cruelty. So that is what might be our last mythic in the box. Eh, good card, but not exactly tearing it up out there. That's a shame. Oh well. Can't get a home run all the time. I will say though, like I've done the last three I have got I've done of these. I feel like I get a lot more Sign of Dracos and Archon of Cruelties and Titanias than anything else. And, uh, and Thrastas. Obviously, Thrastas, it's a bit of a troll on this channel at this point. Vindicate and Calibrated Blast. Okay, two packs left. We're definitely limping to a finish. But if we pause for a second when I talk about limping to a finish, I mean, four fetchies, one of them foil, Cabal Coffers, Cauldra Complete, several good rares, including Urza Saga and Yavimaya. This is not a bust box at all. Solid box. Okay, Tireless Provisioner. And Peru the Volatile. Okay, last pack. Let's see if we get some last pack magic. Vectus Gloves. Healer's Flock. Clattering Augur. Soul Snare. And Ignoble Hierarch. Okay, at least then we finish off the box with uh, with good old Jim there. Okay, all right. Well, that is going to be the box. That is yet another pretty darn solid Modern Horizons 2 opening. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, bye.